uh, I would think, was probably one of the, the best uh, teachers in Australia as far as using acrylics, uh, Chroma Interactives. He, he really is a master of, of the acrylic medium. And we're going to spend the day with Mark working on a number of dis different pieces and then seeing the techniques that he does, particularly with water, you're really well renowned for, for your water paintings. Yes. And, and water is an extremely difficult thing to do. You've got reflection, refraction, mm. a whole bunch of other shadow involved in it as well. Absolutely. But Mark is going to take us through those using the Chrome Interactive paints and you'll be able to see the quality of these paints, plus the free flow as well. Absolutely. Which yep. is an essential. New discovery for me. Yeah, yep. new discovery, am amazing properties. Mm. As we go through, you can talk about the properties of those as we actually start to do the work. Yep. Because this is cutting edge science involved in paint. So, mm. really extraordinary stuff. Oh, it makes, makes my job so much easier. Oh, it's incredible. So, uh, let's go with uh, Mark for the ride today and you'll see some pretty amazing things. Let's go for it. One of the things about uh, painting well, pretty much anything really, but particularly pandanus trees, is understanding a little bit of nuance about light. But what I'm going to do now is just using some ultramarine blue, which is quite a warm blue. And I use that specifically because I want to create the illusion of it being a really warm summer's day. See this leaf here, I want that leaf to roll over like that. Mm -hmm. And then this leaf here looks to me like that's going to roll in there, like that. Again, this is all very uh, rudimentary, but what's going to happen too is that light's going to hit that water underneath and bounce up back up underneath. So I'm going to put all these wonderful golds and things on the underside of the branches and stuff. Okay. It's amazing how the more you look, the more light you find, you know? And I can create the illusion of that branch moving away from me. So that's pretty much the painting roughed in, mm. blocked in. Most of the framework is where it needs to be and I'll put that away and dry. So we move on to the next one? We move on. So what I want to do is, when I'm building the painting, this painting water, there's a real art to it. There's so many layers and levels. So one of the things I want to do is create that lovely reflection, refraction on the underside. So this is kind of my little technique. And I'm not worried too much about going over these pandanus tree leaves again. They were there, they're just there so that I can come back to them later on. 